American Sign Language is a beautiful visual language with a history, a fascinating history, of its arrival on the mainland. Nearly 400 years ago, a man named Jonathan Lambert, who was deaf, traveled from Kent, England to the town of Chilmark on Martha's Vineyard. After settling, his children were born, and they were also deaf. Because Chilmark was a fishing village with no ships or ports for travel, and its isolation from other towns, there was no flow of outsiders. As a result, it was common for residents to marry within the family and have children. Because of this, their genetic deafness spread to a point approaching the 19th century. One in every 25 residents was deaf. Lambert not only brought his deaf genetics over, but the regional sign language of Kent, England. This language evolved in Chilmark as the deaf population grew. It became Martha's Vineyard Sign Language, or MVSL. The language belonged to both deaf and hearing people throughout the island, where it had become completely natural to use. While all this was happening, on the mainland of America, in 1814, in Hartford, Connecticut, a preacher named Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet was visiting family. He noticed one day his younger brothers and sisters were not playing with a child. Upon investigating, he learned that the child, Alice Cogswell, was deaf. Not knowing any sign language, he attempted to communicate with her by pointing to his hat and writing H-A-T in the dirt. Alice was able to understand him. Alice's father, a talented surgeon, financed a trip for Gallaudet. To visit Europe and learn more about deaf education practices. 
first, he visited the Braidwood School. A family-run school with a focus on using oral methods with deaf children. The family refused to share their methods with Thomas. While in England, he happened to meet Abbe Roque Ambrose Sicard. The hearing man, who was the principal of Institut Royal des Swords Muets. A school for the deaf in Bordeaux, France. Accompanying Abbe Sicard was Laurent Claire. and Jean Massieu. Two students of Abbe Sicard, who were now educators along with him. Abbe Sicard welcomed Thomas to visit the school and learn more. Gallaudet actually had the foresight to know he wouldn't be able to bring this amazing knowledge back to America on his own. And asked Laurent Claire to return home with him. In exchange for learning French Sign Language, Thomas taught Claire written English. Upon returning to Connecticut in 1817, they established the American School for the Deaf in Hartford. Over time, the deaf children from Martha's Vineyard were being educated at the new school, ASD. Through time, they moved and settled to the mainland. The deaf population of Martha's Vineyard waned. However, the French Sign Language and the Martha's Vineyard Sign Language became intertwined and became what is our present day American Sign Language. I am proud to say that 179 years later, I graduated from American School for the Deaf. The school and language is just as important today as it was all those years ago. 
I hope you enjoyed this fascinating look at the history of American Sign Language and those important people on the journey.